Is that, uh, and, and all this, all this comes because fucking, uh, I talked about Joe Rogan's nose? Not just Joe, other people as well. So. You're, you're viewed, Dan, as a loose cannon. Uh, are you. Is interfering with our process of wiping out boxing. And uh-huh. establishing UFC as the dominant force in fighting. And if we allow too many people like you to heard and vocal and gather a, gather a following, then that could become potentially dangerous. And so, that answers my question on uh, what you really see in the future for Dan Quinn, because, you know, if, in fact, you know, I started uh, jumping up on a couch on your lap like a lap dog and shucking and jiving, uh, what would be the guarantee that, uh, but actually, you guys would, you guys are trying to fucking buy my silence with, uh, a fucking, uh, with nothing. Uh, ba- that's basically what you're trying to do. Get me to shut up, do what you want, uh, and with just the hopes and dreams of something happening. Do you still, do you still drive a blue Hyundai, Dan? What? Do you still drive a blue Hyundai? Yeah. Okay, I just wanted to check. So, is that... Oh my goodness, James. Was that... Was that, like, a... Some kind of a veiled threat? Because, you know, it's known that Vegas guys like to blow up cars and shit, you know? Or know what they're shooting at? Is that right? I think you've been watching too many films, Dan. Is that right? But, so, why would you ask me about my car? I was just curious. Is that right? Um, yeah. Is no, let's, work, let's work together, Dan. Okay. I think that, uh... I think that there might not be any fucking, uh... Guarantee that if I came to work that I'd make it back out the fucking front door again, man. Feel me? Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, but as I say, we've got more to gain by working together than we have by being enemies. And at the moment, you're viewed as an enemy. So, basically, talking about Joe's, no, Joe's nose, that's completely out of the question. I can't mention... Well, And did I, did I fucking scare Joe Rogan into getting a nose job? Fuck, you know what? He's talking shit now, man. Can you imagine if he actually showed up to a fight, dude? You might actually fight him. No, no. Uh, fucking, what can we do? Well, you know what? Uh, how much will it cost to make that nose even prettier, Joe? And uh, <laughs> give you a built-in excuse, man. Uh, uh, I'll tell you what, James. Um, thank you. I really am an anger-based fighter, man. Uh, I'm a nice guy. I really am. Uh, well, why don't you say some nice things about Zufa, then? Why is it all negative? Besides making money, is there any good? You guys are good at making... I you guys are great at making money. That. Huh? I don't understand what you mean. Uh, you guys are... Uh, good at making money, okay, but what else can I say about Zufa that would, you know, be true and wouldn't be bullshit? Um, How about the fact that we're taking on boxing and winning? That's just because boxers haven't uh, pulled back. Sam, are you going to play ball with us or not? Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to be very direct with you. You're either with us or you're against us. I've told you what happens to people who fuck with us. Um, I'm with you. Uh, I'm not, I'm not dumb, but, you know, let's, let's say that, let's say that I was fucking stupid and said, you know, basically, fuck you. Uh, 
I'm going to do what I'm going to do. And you guys, you know, are doing well. Uh, and pay me attention. You know, give me airtime, whatever. Uh, e even uh, just in this phone call right now, you're wasting your time. Uh, that's adding energy to my movement, right? Uh, what if I did that and just said, fuck you, I'm going to continue to clown Joe's nose? What would you do? Well, you'd find out sooner or later, I guess, wouldn't you? And the Fertitta brothers actually would condone uh, a move on me because Joe had his nose talking about it. Is that right? I can't go on that, man. You know, uh, the Las Vegas establishment. You know, uh, <coughs> have you ever... <coughs>